Hey, we're delving deeper into lesson number 26 in our study of the book of the Revelation. Now, the Apostle Paul wrote to believers in Ephesus, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God. Now, grace is given in four forms. First, there's pervenient grace. Uh, this is the offer of the blue pill or the red pill. And if you have no idea what that reference is, Google it, blue pill, red pill. Justifying grace establishes a right relationship with God. Sanctifying grace internally aligns a person with God's commands and the teachings of Jesus. And finally, glorifying grace, which actualizes life eternal. Now, grace is not something you earn. It is a gift given out of a heart of love, and it is a costly gift, one acquired for you at a great price, yet freely given. The Apostle John wrote, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Now, Jesus, God's Son, paid the price for your gift of grace. Can you imagine the anguish of the father, knowing his son had done no wrong, brought no evil into the world, and only his death could make grace available to you? Both the father and the son demonstrated that love is seeking to meet the need of another at the cost of personal sacrifice. Your greatest need is to escape the dragon's enslavement with its beastly taskmaster, and it's Babylon's false promises. This gift of grace is accessed by your faith. Faith is your trust and belief moving you to action. That action is to forsake the dragon's game and bend your knee to the Lordship of Christ. And in doing so, you'll find yourself standing on that sea of glass that shot through with fire with an instrument of praise in your hands in the very presence of God.